Hey, what's up guys, Dan here. And on Instagram and Twitter, I always see these posts that say rate me or like for a rate and stuff like that. And honestly, I haven't been that motivated to make tech videos lately because I feel everyone's doing the same old thing. Everyone's either doing a full-fledged newspaper article ask a review or they're doing a live unboxing like Unbox Therapy or Key In from TechSmart. And while that may work for them, it hasn't been really checking out the creative checkboxes that I've wanted and my content hasn't been making me proud. So because of that, I've decided to make a new series and it's going to be called Rate Me. And basically there's going to be five categories where I take a product that I think is pretty cool and I rate it. So those five categories are going to be about how cool it is, how practical it is, how stomachable the price tag is, the build quality, and overall whether I think it's something that you need to buy or not to buy. Without further ado, let's get started with the first ever episode of Rate Me Snap Spectacles. If you don't know what Snap Spectacles are, it's Snapchat or now Snap Incorporated's first entry into a hardware product. You know them from their app and their app is amazing. Well these glasses right here connect with their app and you basically don't have to have your phone out to take a Snapchat. So how cool are they? They are pretty darn cool but they're also pretty darn hard to get your hands on right now. If you want them you're either going to have to go to New York City and wait in line at the pop-up shop or wait for a Snapbot, a vending machine made by Snap Incorporated that sells these things to show up in your area. And they drop on average about every other day in a random city throughout the United States. Right now they're US only and that means if you're not in the United States, you're either going to have to fly here to get them or pay resale on eBay. They retail for $130 US except they are going for around $250 right now on eBay, but that price is expected to go down as more and more become available. But I've never really seen anything like it before. I've seen Google Glass, but that's different because you have the little piece of glass in front of your face. However, these just are hands-free Snapchat. You get some really cool angles, and for that I'm giving them a 8 out of 10 on the coolness scale. It would be a 10, except it's super hard to get them right now, and I'm not a huge fan of the lens shape, but they do look like the Snap logo. Mm, pretty cool. Well, I touched on how they're really hard to get right now, so the price tag category is going to be hard, but I'm going to give it a solid 7 out of 10. Because at retail, 130 bucks isn't too, too bad, but because you can't really get them for retail right now, they lose a few points right there. These things would be a perfect 10 if they came in at $99.99. Which moves us into the next category, build quality. And I was absolutely blown away by the build quality on spectacles. I thought they were just going to be some cheap thing made in China and it's going to be cheap plastic, they're going to feel flimsy. However, these things are actually really, really nice. It's all solid plastic that feels durable. The lenses are good. I'm not sure if they're polarized or it's perfect in the sun as you'd expect. And the attention to detail is amazing. The lens shape themselves is the Spectacles logo like I mentioned. The case itself is actually really, really surprisingly well built. And although it is this weird triangle shape that doesn't fit in your pocket too well, it packs some really cool tech. One of the things you're gonna get with this is it comes with a battery built into here to charge your spectacles. You'll get four full charges, which is enough to, if you have these fully charged before using the case, take 500 10 second Snapchat videos. Charges right here through the case using a MagSafe-esque connector, which is really nice and it's nice attention to detail rather than just sticking like a micro USB port or something on the glasses. Inside the case, however, and this is one thing where I don't really like, it's a very felt lined surface, which will keep the glasses safe, but also means every time you put your glasses in here, you open it up, it's gonna have a bunch of little felt particles and it looks really dusty. But once again, attention to detail, they include a cleaning cloth that is actually in the shape of the Snapchat Ghost, which I haven't seen any YouTubers mention, but that's really cool. Build quality is amazing. And for that reason, I am going to give 
build quality, a 10 out of 10. As for the practicality of these bad boys, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10, simply because they're sunglasses, you only can really wear them when it's bright out. Maybe if they sold some alternate ones with clear lenses or prescription lenses online in the future, that could be fixed to a 10. Because they don't look too obvious, it has this nice friendly light that turns on when they're recording. I'm going to say that adds to the practicality. Whereas if you're using something like Google Glass, everybody knows you have Google Glass. I've had nobody stop me saying, hey, are those snap spectacles? Maybe because people just don't know what they are yet. Maybe because they blend in and look like sunglasses that normal people would wear. Anyway, it's winter here, so I can't get the fullest use out of them, but this coming summer, I am definitely going to make the most of my Snap Spectacles. So, do you need Snapchat Spectacles? No, you don't. I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being absolutely do not buy these, 10 being you have to buy these, I'd give them about a 5. They work really well, and they look really cool, and they're actually decent sunglasses, but they aren't a make or break product. Snapchat itself is completely fine without them. Spectacles records in a circle, which might seem weird at first, but it's actually really cool because once it's on your story or you send a snap to someone and they're watching it, they can actually turn their phone and see different parts of what's going on around them. So it's, it's actually really cool. And a lot of my friends were like, whoa, how did you do that? And I was like, hold up, it's spectacles and they're super cool. So what's the final rate on spectacles? Well, if you add up all five categories and double it so it's out of 100, the spectacles earn themselves a 76%, which on my grading scale is a C, which means it's average, and it's a pretty average product, meaning it's not exceptional, but it also doesn't suck. So should you pick one up? It's up to you. I can see going either way on that. Anyway, if you like this new series of video, you want to see more rates, make sure you rate this video with a thumbs up. You can click here to see my last video, and you can click here to subscribe. Until then, thank you for watching. It's been Dan from DG Tech. Catch you in the next video.